<clears throat> hey, everybody. Anything interesting happening tonight? Oh, oh, there's an election. I totally forgot about that. I don't know, we're getting real close. And is everybody looking at the New York Times page? They've got this great uh, interactive visualization. New York Times, check it out. Uh, they've got Trump's odds as of right now pinned at over 95% chance of winning. Um, let me, since I have a lot of people on here and a lot of people watching, let me remind all of you that a little bit of silent gloating, a little bit of, you know, low level celebration, maybe inside your house, among your family members, that's appropriate. You know, you worked hard probably, you got what you wanted. Uh, but I think it would be a big mistake to take your gloating into the street. Don't take it to work. Um, time to take the bumper sticker off your car. Things could get dangerous tomorrow, and the only way they don't get dangerous is if those of uh, you on the winning side, assuming that's Trump, uh, learn how to make your fellow citizens a little less nervous about sharing the country. Uh, so I think the time tomorrow is when the work starts. It's, you know, th this, isn't, this isn't the celebration time yet. I mean, it's fun. Right, and we're all having fun, and and you should feel as good as you want to, feel as good as you want to about this. But the work starts tomorrow, because this is a classic uh, case of you know you broke it, you bought it, you you elected Trump to break the country, right? You bought it, you better help him, better be good to your fellow uh, citizens. Don't glow too hard, don't be assholes, don't be assholes. All right. Uh, this is this is when you gotta this is when you gotta convince um, tens of millions of your fellow Americans that Trump meant American. He actually meant that, because that's what you bought, right? That's the story you bought. You didn't buy. Let's all be racist. That wasn't the story you bought. The story you bought was Americans. So let's uh, let's act like it. Um, and shout out, let me give a shout out, shout out to Maggie and Jason. You should be, you should be watching this, Maggie and Jason, who are very happy tonight. Uh, you could hear a pin drop in New York City. Yeah, I'll be on, um, CNN with, uh, Jake Tapper on Friday, unless they move it up. <laughs> I suppose there's, there's a chance they might want me sooner, uh, under these circumstances, but we'll find out. Um... Yeah, I, I think this is terrific fun, and we can all be happy that, you know, some of us predicted right, and, and some of us got our first choice. But let's put this in perspective. This, this is the beginning of the work, not, not the end of it. You've got, a, you've got tens of millions of people that you need to convince, and I'm talking about you, personally, right? You know, your, your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers. You, you've got to let them know that things are going to be all right. All right. So uh, that's my message for now. We're, we're assuming that things are going to go well for Trump for the rest of the night. Um, I'll check in probably at least one more time. Uh, but stay safe tomorrow. All right. And stay safe this this week. Don't rub it in. Don't be jerks. Um, yeah. Van Jones. I just saw he's on TV. I'll, I'll check in with him. I love that guy, by the way. Yeah, say what you will about the Clinton supporters, but Van Jones is a class act. I love that guy. All right. Take care. I'll see you later, probably tonight. Darn it. You got that problem? Oh, there it is.